Welcome back. I'm back from the dead. You know, I swear I didn't want my first video after like a year to be me shit talking about some YouTuber. I was going to upload like gameplay. I wanted to upload gameplay on Warzone Mobile. After seeing like this, I stumbled upon this. I just cannot not talk about it. This YouTuber I'm about to talk about is so Bruh. delusional. This guy is like, I, you see what I mean, okay? It just doesn't make any sense. Some very brief context first, okay? I don't want to make you fall asleep, so I'm going to make this super brief. Okay, basically Warzone Mobile, Call of Duty Warzone Mobile is coming out in like about a week from now. No, it's not. It's like like nine days. It's coming out in nine days, and a lot of people think that Warzone Mobile is not ready to be released because they think it's not optimized for like mobile phone or whatever. I've downloaded it on my current phone. It's not a shit phone, by the way. It's a Galaxy S21 Plus, I think. It's I'd say it's a pretty good phone. It's like it's better than what most people have already. It can run if I put it to lower settings, but I I just put like videos on it right now of me playing the game. It's sometimes it's literally unplayable. But that being said, the game's still not fully released. I'll still post videos on it on whatever I can play with it. Remember this game that I'm seeing right now is gonna be important, okay? So this is how it all started, okay? There's this Twitter account, Charlie Intel, and they uploaded this this footage of Warzone Mobile and it's captioned multiplayer of Warzone Mobile. There's a lot to say about this gameplay, but let me show you this gameplay first. Look how smooth this gameplay is, dude. Look at the graphics. It's uh, like it's I would say it's better than my Warzone on my PC when I used to play last time. Like, it's absolutely insane. It's almost like it's a bit too good to be true. So the first thing is that people are, are speculating that this is this clip is edited. Like they put some like after effects on it or whatever. And then they made it look a bit better. Because remember the gameplay I showed you about like literally 10 seconds ago. It does not look like this. This is when our YouTuber in question replied on this video. Okay, let's see what our special guest appearance has to say for today. Really weird how the only people hating in the replies are mobile players. It's a mobile game. Who do you expect to hate on it other than mobile players? Like <laughs> Xbox 360 gamers or like football players? I, I, I don't know what, what's the point of this reply. Real Bobby plays. The only weird thing in this whole comment section thread is this reply. Bro had to go to chat GPT and write out, come up with the weirdest reply that doesn't make sense at all so I can put it on like a Twitter comment or some shit. By the way, don't worry. It gets worse. <laughs> this is just like the oh, start no. of it. So in case you thought this is all, don't worry. Real Bobby plays has got more for us. So like this guy says it's all good if you can run like that even on decent graphics So he's probably saying like if like my phone really can run like this video shows on decent graphics Then it's all good and then this guy real Bobby plays just gets very defensive for some reason Saying where in the original tweet does Charlie claim that the game runs like this on low-end devices He literally just captioned it multiplayer on Warzone Mobile and the whole community jumped on the hate train because it's the popular thing to do. Brother, brother, nobody is jumping on any hate train here, okay? The reason people are hating on this is simple. This is clearly a highly edited clip of Warzone Mobile. People are not even expecting this level of smoothness and insane graphics on Warzone Mobile. It's because they posted something so unbelievably good and unreal that people are getting angry about it. Because it's just not showing what the real Warzone Mobile is. So a lot of people think it's false advertising. So real Bobby plays, okay? Nobody is jumping on the hate train because it's the popular thing to do. Let's get to the second part two. Okay, so basically we've had another guy called Boom then reply on this thread. He's another YouTuber, I think, for COD Mobile or whatever. How about we provide real and proper updates to the player base instead of posting edited clips? Even you know the game isn't ready for a launch. Wow! Well, look at this guy. Bro has a normal functioning thought process. And let's let's just see how real Bobby Plays replies to this. So instead of passing direct feedback to the devs, like we have been for the past 18 months, you prefer to come on Twitter and cry about the game like the rest of you and kill the game before it even arrives. Brother, what are you saying? <laughs> you prefer to come on Twitter and cry about the game like the rest of you and kill the game before it even arrives. This part makes negative sense. First of all, not everybody has direct feedback to the devs like you do or other content creators does. Most of the time, or no, sorry, all of the time, only a certain few content creators out there has direct feedback. The rest of us, the only way to reach big games like this is through social media. How else are you gonna reach them? Email them? I mean like, sure, you can email them. But the most accessible way is social media. So like most of the time, if, if the game has a problem, the community will post the problems on social media. It makes sense. Boom replies saying, nobody is killing the game, everybody wants it to succeed. However, releasing the game without optimization will result in a big flop. And while I'm not a big content creator like you, I do report all issues on their DC server. I don't know what that is, probably our Discord server, that makes sense. As a big content creator, we expect real and honest information from you. Now let's see what our boy Real Bobby Place has to say on this topic. As someone who I'm assuming has never been involved in the game community outside of Call of Duty Mobile, I can understand why you would think that. <laughs> Boom. You're just... 
you're just not him. You're not involved in other game communities, all right? So you, you have no right to talk. But as somebody who has been involved in the game communities for over seven years and has seen those communities kill their game through negativity, I can tell you for certain that the community is currently setting up Warzone Mobile to have the same fate as Apex Mobile. The community, guys, is the community's problem. If a game fails upon launch, it's not the game's problem. You know, the game is going perfect. The game is flawless, but it's the community's problem. This paragraph is insane to me, just like every other thing he's posted so far. As someone who I'm assuming has never been involved in a game community outside of court, it's such a weird thing to say, bro. Like, why? <laughs> I think Boom has realized that talking to real Bobby players is probably making him lose a few more IQ than he expected to, so he probably just ended it, ended it off right there with like emo emoji and shit. I think real Bobby players over here cannot comprehend that not everyone has an iPhone 20 Premium Plus version to play their COD Warzone mobile on, and not everyone can run the game at 120 FPS or something. Like he sounds like the type of person to tell someone, like, bro, just buy a better phone, dude. It's not that hard. <laughs> just. Just buy an iPhone 20 Premium Plus Pro Max, dude. It's not that hard. But anyways, that's all I have to talk about. Thanks for watching, lovely human beings. I'll see you on the next video.